Hi, hello everybody. I forgot May, about Bonnie. You... May, do you remember, um, we stopped like right as soon as we got into the Lavender Town Music Town, right? Oh right, the Epsilon tract. It reminds me I of a watched... very violent video game. I watched a full hour-long documentary. Uh, Doc documentary is what the guy called it, obviously, uh, about the, the Epsilon program from Grand Theft Auto V. Um, and it's cool, like, the, the more popular a video game is, the less effort the person making the YouTube video about it puts into it. I, I think Pokemon is the only thing that breaks that paradigm, because there's a lot of Pokemon freaks. But even mm, those guys right. are, like, covering, like, Pokemon Ranger, or, like, the one cave you can find a shiny Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, no, so it's, it sucked, and none of it was interesting. Uh, but I also think that's just mostly because GTA V... Uh, oh yeah, no, that's definitely exactly the the, the, the perpetrator, for sure. Um, what I want to know is who the fuck is the Epsilon group or whatever. It's just a Scientology. That's all it is. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. And you knew that going in. Yeah, I didn't learn <laughs> right, anything extra other than, oh, there's a joke where he embezzles funds. Oh, there's a joke where you, you, you like have like a, the spiritual religious name, but then it's like, it's, but like they change it and it's like that one, uh, uh. Most recent Nessie Retro video about like game rumors. It kind of saddened me because it was the first Nessie Retro video I went into where I think I literally knew every entry, except for maybe one. Because uh, like, usually um, with his videos, I know parts of it, but not all of it. I think uh, to to me, I hear that, and it's like, oh my god, we're um, we've reached the the end. You know, like all of the content has been mined from yeah, these, these games. Old finally. games. Yeah, it's like, like our, new stuff. In, in and like there's no new culture being built in Fortnite. In in 2020, I felt that way very profoundly. Um, and then the fucking, like, uh, you know, every copy of Mario 64's personalized thing happened. And, like, in addition to all of the kind of, like, you know, like, fun sort of, like, alternate reality stuff, like, there was a lot of new information and, and like, concepts about those games that I just totally wasn't yeah. privy to. Yeah, it's weird how, like, people lying is the, like, the, the best way to get new, uh, information out of these games. Because, like, people lying and making shit up for fun does lead to people looking at the game a little bit closer. I forgot that we made the creepypasta video. Like, I was just having this conversation, like, we didn't have, like, a... That wasn't a thing we did. Like, we didn't have skin in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to Hazel about this when I hopped on call with her yesterday, but I played, like, an hour of Strive with Marcy, and my thumbs hurt so fucking bad. Oh, no. Every part of my body is just pure decay right now. Yeah, I've um I've been I've been playing Ocarina of Time. Uh well, I finished Paper Mario at a friend's place. And uh, I started uh Ocarina of Time and I'm feeling like a a real fucking idiot for playing two N64 games back to back because that stick hurts so bad. Dude, dude. I, it was like built to destroy children's bodies. It's crazy. I just saw someone post an inflammatory opinion and it took everything in my body not to immediately react and ask them which YouTube video they got that from. Ocarina of Time is a mid game. Yeah, it's not. Well, you know what? Check this out. Uh, I was in that camp for years and years and years. Because um, I didn't grow up with it. Uh, you know, I grew up with an N64, but I, I did not have uh, Ocarina of Time. I like rented Majora's Mask once and my dad and I were very confused. Because I think we just loaded somebody else's save <laughs> instead of starting from the beginning. <laughs> and you tried to work your um, way back. So, uh, you know, I first played the game on the Wii Virtual Console, you know, maybe between the ages of like 12 and 15 or so. And I did not have access to a computer at that time, obviously. I did not have the N64 strategy guide. So I was constantly getting uh, very lost and very confused and very frustrated. And all of those things made me feel like, oh my god, I can't believe anybody finds any value or, or, or beauty or magic in any of this. But it turns out that when you play that game and you're actually, like, intently reading the dialogue yeah. and you've got somebody uh, who can sort of be a second set of eyes for you. Yeah. Um, you, you, like, your initial playthrough, you're you not fucking, like, you, you, like, like, Let's Play affected yourself. Like, right. you're too busy like, trying to focus on, like, ten other things that, like, when the game tells you what to do, you miss what it says. Yeah, so, so like, I, I feel like this is a concept people talk about in horror games all the time, where, like... The second you have to do anything twice, it is 
like inherently the kind of like atmosphere is the first thing that starts to wear down because yeah. you kind of just start to take what you're seeing as a given um and as like a, a series of inputs that you need to figure out rather than like you know um actually taking it in as like a complete yeah. whole um i think and, that, i think uh, it's a game that can just come to you at different points in life like i played it yeah, fucking yeah. uh when the 3ds like remake came mm, out when i was a right, fucking right. toddler um <laughs> and i still found like a lot of lot a lot, lot to love from it I think it just yeah. needs to come to you when it comes to you. Yeah, because because I um, have been wanting to give that game another shot since around the time I moved up to the city. Yeah. Um, I don't really know why, just something about it was really sort of um, speaking to me in my kind of peripheral memory. Um, and I like tried to pick it up after I moved on an emulator and I just kind of wasn't really... I had so much other shit to do. But now that I'm, like, finally giving it, like, a proper run-through, uh, I'm just finding so much to fucking love yeah. about it. The the kind of, like... I, I know that it's, like, so fucking, like, textbook to talk about that game being kind of quietly sad. Uh, and, and sort of the same way that it is to... to that it's sort of gauche to do the same with, um, Peanuts. But yeah. I do feel like there's kind of a funny, um parallel there where like there are the, the these kinds of like uh, I, I feel like i don't quite have the the word for it but i, I feel like you know what i'm talking about yeah like, there's something just kind of like um i don't know like sad in that kind of small childhood way yeah that kind of like almost like only yesterday kind of way except uh you know it's it's uh uh uh, 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 like a, a classic like storybook fantasy situation yeah I think there's like a lot of um, weird feelings that can stew watching lives be lived, even if they aren't necessarily bad lives being lived. Mm, right, Just kind of right, like right, seeing right. people in their daily routine is one right. of those things that can be like deeply comforting or like really, really alien feeling. Or almost kind of both at the same time. Yeah. Um, like like that intro in in the uh, the Kokiri forest where you're kind of dropped in and you kind of expect to be this sort of like you know plucky young excited hero and then everyone is like hey fairy boy you fucking freak you freak you fairyless freak uh, you know like everyone is kind of a little bit mean to him and yeah. mean to each other and and there's this just kind of like you know like these children are, are just kind of cruel to each other in the way that the children are yeah um and uh yeah i don't know it's just like there's just this this kind of degree of like depth to it that i totally obviously did not see as a uh, an idiot queen um that i'm really falling for and like you know uh i i, I can totally admit that, that there's a degree to which i probably would not have picked up on that stuff were it not for the fact that that's stuff that everybody talks about in Majora times a hundred. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, dude. Like, there's something about like the the kind of process of sitting and waiting for uh, day to to turn to night. You know, in in this field, just kind of like finding a nice view to look out into. That it really there's something kind of fucking magical about yeah. it i don't know i something maybe really it's weird just that about i feel my very ready to kind of meet the game where it's at yeah uh, yeah i don't something... know real real moments of magic i found <laughs> something really weird about my experience with ocarina of time uh is that it was a uh, concurrent to watching a majora's mask let's play uh, whoa and i was playing it on uh 3ds so like i was so, so it's handheld. literally like you you were you were playing the the game and then you were like entering the like dream realm where everything was different every single night yeah yeah it was it was like a really weird beautiful experience and i still haven't played majora proper for that reason i'll, I'll get to it in like 10 years <laughs> yeah i'm trying to uh give majora a go after ocarina um, i have not played wind waker i've only watched let's play that's how i experienced most uh, nintendo games when i was young yeah, I, I think I was I was describing this to May, but there was a moment where um, I think I was waiting for the day to change um, when you're supposed to go to uh, Hyrule Castle to to have that like secret rendezvous with Zelda. Yeah, like like Malin is waiting for her dad who's fallen asleep, so she's just kind of like singing to herself to kill the time. Uh, 
and uh, whenever you uh, talk to her, like the the singing cuts off because she's speaking to you. Yeah. Now. Uh, like the way that it's diegetic is so cute. Um, but yeah, like she's she's kind of sitting by those vines that you're supposed to climb up to to sneak past some of the guards. And uh, yeah, like watching day turn to night in that environment, or like watching the sun start to rise thereafter after I fucked it up for like four minutes straight, <laughs> is is amazing. Yeah, like holy shit, it's it's so it's so beautiful, it's so special, it, it's so like you know, it's something I feel like I haven't really felt anywhere else in a game. Yeah, it's weird. I I remember um, part of the reason that Near Gestalt really appealed to me is mm. it kind of reminded me a lot of my favorite feelings playing Ocarina of Time. Right, Just right. like kind of going through these places over and over and over again and seeing the same people. And sometimes they have an update, but really most of the time they don't. And just like kind of passing through lives really quickly right, right, on right, your right. path and routine to somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. I think that kind of fleeting nature where it's like, I think as a kid I was kind of a snob in the sense that I wanted everything to have like tons and tons and tons of dialogue. Yeah. Um, but I think as I've gotten older, I've gotten a lot more kind of like into reading between the lines. Yeah. And like, you know, you're given NPCs single line of dialogue. Yeah. Like not even just engaging, but like having fun with it. Mm. Mm. Meaning it on more than just its own terms, but kind of like putting your own yeah, sauce yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I, uh, I'm playing that game on a gigantic CRT, yeah. so that, that does, that does help. <laughs> No, I know someone that, uh, despite having a, a, a hacked 3DS, um, played it on a uh, Switch Virtual Console. I don't exactly mm. remember uh, their reason why, but it always interested me. I think they did end up playing Majora's Mask on that hacked 3DS, though. And then never fucking gave it back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I, like, forgetting an HM that we got or something? I am backtracking super heavily to see if there's, like, anything. Yeah, I'm let me know what you find. My mind. I, um, I went to, uh, Cherry whatever city, and I thought I might be able to find something new to do there. And I didn't find anything, and I didn't want to keep straying from Wizard's Peak just in case there is something else that we missed. I guess I need to stay at Wizard's Peak. Yeah, you never know. Ocarina of Time is literally the first game I remember. My mother read me the dialogue when she played. She was a young mother, and she still played a lot of games back then. It's where a lot of my game taste came from. That's such a fucking insanely sweet memory. I, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the sauce for sure. I've talked yeah. about this on stream plenty of times for sure, but, um, my first exposure to Paper Mario was, uh, renting it, and, uh, my mom, like, I think I didn't realize it was going to be very text heavy. Yeah. Um, so my, uh, so yeah, my mom, like, basically played it for me, and I watched, and she read the dialogue to me, and I think we only made it past, like, <laughs> Goomba Village. Like, I, I don't, I think we probably barely even got into Toad Town. Yeah. Uh, because it's a, it was a rental, you know, there's no, I guess, obligation to play much I, more of it than that. I had really That is a about very, it. very, very foundational, very vivid memory from a, a childhood I don't have a lot of memories from. Yeah. Period. I no. hadn't really thought about it until this very moment, but I was trying to remember, like, what memories like that I have. And it is all, like, watching Let's Plays. I genuinely think that mm. it's kind of supplemental for some people. Definitely. Like, yeah. watching a comprehensive Let's Play where someone reads all the dialogue and goes through it all with you is, like... Yeah, that's kind of a genre of Let's Play that is... is... I, I mean, I guess just, like, a genre of online gameplay that you don't really see a lot in general. Yeah. Like, nobody's really trying to be comprehensive, because you really don't need to be. Yeah, and it's like... <laughs> it's pretty easy for a subgenre to die out uh, when the main person doing it probably shouldn't be <laughs> making videos anymore. Um, but, like, fucking genuinely, like, I, I think we're gonna see a complete downturn on that sort of thing, period, because of that. Yeah, I can't think of anything that I have right now. Oh, oh, um, I think I found it. Give me one quick oh, second to actually check. Okay, cool. You're, um, you did backtrack, right? Yeah, I went back to the main town. Or the first okay. town. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. First town, uh, cut the tree to the right and then go into the, the weird dark forest. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, no problem. Oh, this is actually really pretty spread art. What the Everybody fuck? Everybody out here, like, yeah, my favorite game was fucking my favorite game was five nights at freddy's too 
You're all babies. Five Nights at Freddy's 2, like, directly is one of those games that's like, you watched that, you didn't play that. That game fucking sucks, dude. Oh, yeah, no, no, nobody, nobody plays Five Nights at Freddy's. I had to break into my own bathroom earlier. Uh, <laughs> because Bliss locked the door so she could go sleepy poo. Wait. Oh, wait, hold on. Her sleep schedule is like 24 hours off of mine. It's the, fucked. The use of- you said sleepy poo in the context <laughs> of a bathroom. That was Sorry. unfortunate, dude. It was highly unfortunate. Yeah, Bliss sleeps in the bathroom. Yeah, she likes it there. <laughs> Whoop, shitting the bed. I feel like a like a teacher who has to like suddenly switch their entire demeanor when the admin comes in. I just wanted to berate chat for talking about sharding for 10 minutes, and then I- If you can hear me clap once. If you can hear me clap twice. And I heard uh, very quietly my front door open as someone else came home. And I didn't want to yell at chat in front of them. Um, see, I actually disagree. I love videos where it's just, can I beat X game with one not hard stipulation? Yeah. Uh, because I, I, I find joy in the uh, inherent dismantling of uh, mechanics, systems, and laws. So, you know, I think I'm kind of predisposed to uh, see that sort of thing and go, you know what? I do wonder if you could uh, uh, beat Mario 64 without touching any boxes. <laughs> the answer may surprise you. I think I had like a like a um, like a like a love hate relationship with that sort of thing. Uh, at my most mad, I mouldingly typed into my phone note document, "Pokemon Yellow," but I use Pikachu. Um, <laughs> but I think I respect it more than I don't now. I watched a video. <gasps> Hi, Larvitar. Oh, wow. I'm gonna catch you. Um, what were you going to say? I watched a video- this is someone's chat message. I watched a video oh, okay. where a guy was like, Can you beat Digital Devil Saga without demons? And like 40 minutes and he said the R slur. That's Megaten <laughs> fans! Yeah, that's- that's- that's Megaten. That's like- that's what the series is about. Yeah. The- the problem is that the- the shower argument approach is basically like an impulse that every YouTube adjacent content creation adjacent human being uh, eventually succumbs to. You know, like we, we've talked about how uh, getting mad at a YouTube video can sometimes be the single greatest motivator for creating a YouTube video. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's like just Spike kind of makes the industry run. Right, yeah. You just need to be smart and, and learn how to obfuscate the, the spite. The, the directed guy against, you're mad you know. at. Yeah, nobody nobody will ever know what specific kinds of sentiments annoyed me so much that I made the Elfin Lead video, but I guarantee you it was several. Hazel, did you see what I just did? No, I didn't. Look at my screen. What did... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's fucking oh my god. over it's, for it's me. Over. Congrats on like psychosising yourself into having dyslexia, dude. <laughs> Fuck! Alright, is this gonna be spr Sprink Trap? I think that's Sprink Trap. Fuck! Oh, it's actually over for me. <laughs> it's so easy to see a guy, like, fundamentally misunderstand something about something you like and go so mad you make an entire video about it. I, I mean, honestly, I think a lot of it for me is just, like, the sort of implicit frustration of, um the kind of author authoritative voice. Yeah! Um, and kind of seeing how easily that works on people. Yeah, mm -hmm. and how, like, quickly it can be kind of, like, a uh... uh yeah, su like, subsumed? Like, like, is that the, the word? Time. It yeah. could just become, like, the, the, uh, opinion. That yeah, is professed right. by anyone talking on a subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, like, totally, uh, like, mounts the zeitgeist. There's a lot of other stuff that you can do with your time that's not watching YouTube videos. Like watching I don't know if Twitch streams. Told you this, yeah, yeah. Like watching Twitch streams. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. The blank you've never blanked is definitely uh, uh, pretty much always annoying, unless you're Geno Seven and you put the parenthetical probably in there, which is woke. Yeah, I think I think probably is is. Or, or I'm that. assuming I think is uh, uh, <laughs> was in the the Geno video title proper, which is even better. It's awful. <laughs> I've been getting those I ate blank for six months videos and they all suck. That- I- 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 I will say sometimes I see a title thumbnail conversa- uh, combination 
that is so unbelievably fucking stupid that I I I feel like de incentivized from clicking solely so that I can like keep the the, the pure magic. memory yeah. of of like what the fuck could this video possibly be? Because the video heart. could never. So of fucking course I'm talking about it. the one that's like I ate gas station food for six months and then the thumbnail. It's a picture of a fucking sheet. It's a picture of a fucking sheet. It's a picture of a fucking sheet. Says I joined a cult. And I'm like, I guarantee you that the real story behind that is not even remotely fucking interesting. Whatever cults this person is talking about is probably not nearly as, as, uh, you know, it's always how these fucking things go. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I can hold on to the idea that, that this is a really, uh, funny thing on the inside and I'll never have to know that I'm wrong. Yeah. Do you know who is the who is the guest that got you to watch one Joe Rogan episode? Because <laughs> I I've had one in my entire life. I've seen one episode of the Joe Rogan Experience, and that is it. Oh, and it was because I wanted to see a long form interview with the guest. And then of course it was mostly them shooting the shit about like, yeah, did you know that like wild bobcats can, you know, that they, they've got a faster uh, top speed. They can get to their top speed faster than any other animal. Jamie, can you can you pull that up for me? Can pull that cat, dude. Oh, oh, wait. Sorry, was that a uh, was that a was that a, a female bobcat? Sorry, I don't want to assume it's gender. <laughs> uh, that that's literally all I remember is like they just start talking about like wildlife and, and joe keeps trying to make these like fucking like idiot fucking like oh sjw jokes that monkey got like, you're thrown a dad. out you're a dad dude people will rely on you to fucking feed their families what are you doing and i i know that that's literally not even remotely the worst that that shit gets but like the idea that people like can stomach watching that shit long term is crazy to me the second I like, see like a guy like that who is like fucking like, exhausting like business life. owner class, it's like, dude, people rely on you for a living. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, how how is this a, a establishment you were able to build? How how do people live under you? I think about how many like right wing like media figures should just like own a car dealership. Like that's what they want <laughs> in life, but that's that's not what they have. <laughs> Well, I think what they want is is to to make vast vast sums of money by getting people to agree with them. I think you can do I that, that on a car dealership. dealership. Yeah. Oh my god, you're right. Like you can you could do both. Like you can do car dealership and get the exact same results. You don't have to buy eight sure SM7Bs. Uh, by the way, I did not realize that tax day is um next week. It's in like twelve days. In like twelve days. I'm pretty miserable about it. Yeah. If I'm honest. Uh, I, I'm thinking I might just find a guy to do it for me. <laughs> Does anybody in here know how to do taxes? Anyone in chat? Uh, okay, in my defense, in my de in my defense, uh, I got my YouTube, uh, like, you know, W whatever, uh, file. W9, I think? Um, is they have all the paperwork just, like, fucking, like, uh, available to you. It's not in a fucking email that you're gonna miss. Uh, mm. It's like in my fucking dashboard because they're oh, like, yeah. they, I, they, I think like fif 15, like 18 percent of your income on taxes. And then if you're self-employed, you just pay that again a second time. And I know that neither of them pay their taxes. But yeah, they're supposed to. So I'd like to think that maybe just maybe that counts for something. No, uh, die. No. But what pray tell if we're rallying people together for a cause? Where all you need to do to, par to, to participate is not is nothing, do something is nothing. The, the the IRS has said that they don't have the resources to audit most people. Why would you admit to that? Why would you admit to that? <laughs> Dude, I have like a really big weak spot on my back. Like you could just like shoot me in the back of the head. And, like I'll die immediately. So you That's have crazy. to be really careful because as soon as you pour the water onto your 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 ice bread, you know the water is going to try to out. freeze. Yeah. And it's gonna it's gonna freeze your your top your top bread and your bottom bread together. My phone screen just lit up, and I thought it was because I had missed a call. Um, it was, it was the, the Taco Bell app. Oh, like my phone doesn't generally just light up when I get a notification. That's like it's, not a setting that it I really have needs you right now. It's I, not um... getting me. I I have to say during this conversation about uh, online creator taxes. My Twitch channel just broke 7,000 followers. 
I watched the number go up mid Hazel. So your, your we should Twitch, stop paying your taxes. Twitch broke seven thousand. Yeah, that's like double what it was when I gave it to you. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Congrats. I think probably one of those people is the IRS. So stay vigilant. But um, hey, uh, IRS, if you're listening right now, um, hey, Hazel? I've got something to say. Hey, to you. Hazel. Yeah. What's up? What's up, May? Um, do you want to look what at my it? screen really quickly? Um, yeah, why don't I look at your screen really quickly? Um, oh wow! That's- that's our fucking guy! That's our fucking guy! Wow, that's great! Um, IRS, if you're listening, um... You're fucking gay! gay. gay. Well, look, if they're- if they're putting gay people in the TurboTax ads, you know... If they- if they get mad at me for calling them gay, that just means the IRS is homophobic. Like, that's on them to be offended by. Brave of H&R Block to wholesale steal a Toriyama character design for their tax mascot the week he died? I'm sorry, what? What? Yeah, Jamie, Jamie, pull that up. Jamie, pull up addictinggames.com. Jamie, pull up cool math. Jamie, pull up congregate. I don't even know what this message means. I don't know who this person is. Jamie, pull up cool ROMs. Jamie, pull up Nintendo8.com. Yo, Jamie, can you pull up, can you pull up emo, par emo Paradise? Uh, <laughs> hey, Jamie, could you pull up Emo Voice Kissing? I remember that being on, on the, um, search history of, like, multiple, uh, like, preteen era friends of mine. That's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. Were they giving Fujoshi realness or were they gay slash curious? Uh, my friends? No, they- I was- they were- they were giving Fujoji realness, for sure. Jamie, uh, pry up- can you- can you pry open the, uh, the Ark of the Covenant? Thanks. Hey, Jack, can we, can we do a little live compare- uh, compare and contrast? Um, now that I've got, like, a- like a rack compressor in my setup, um, when I talk really close to the mic, does it sound like, uh, an SM7B, uh, that's, that's like, hugely, oh, yeah, like, over- over-compressed? Yeah, you know, I know exactly what the sound and, is, and, yeah. Uh, in, in I think you're like, yeah. you're like, yeah, you're like really hitting that, like, yeah, and like, like a, they all kind of like hit like because, a direct, because, like a, a kind of like because I'm tone of right voice that they all do, and, and because they set the input too hot, I kind of know that I need to speak a little more softly than I even necessarily. Want yeah, but this to. like weird fake whisper aesthetic has just right, become right, like the defining yeah, voice right. of, of like kind of yeah. duty podcast for some yeah, reason. Yeah, right, right, yeah. You it's know, like they um, should be screaming. They should be like my um, you know, when my uh uh. When my kid, you know, my daughter, um, <sighs> when she, uh, she came home How from she? school the other day, uh, she's, she's, she's 12 years old, um, she, she, she should be my son. Uh, well, see, th this is the, you know, she, she really should, because, um, when she, uh, when she came home from school the other day, um, he's 22, know, I by was, the way, uh, I would, <laughs> 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 Dude, you know, I was, oh my god, I was Hazel, wait, Hazel, 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 Hazel. Like hour on I have a photo I need to send you right fucking now. I got so what close to mean? my mic and unthreaded. <laughs> what? My shit is being held by a Go XL, or by a fucking XLR cable right now. Oh my god, how are you even still speaking to me right now? Jamie, can you re-thread May's mic? What the fuck is happening, dude? I think I got so close it like wanted to kill itself. I, I, I think that bit actually did just make me uh, discover that that there there's like a more. Um, did you see how it came off? Ergonomic way of wait, where did you post it? I just put it on on stream. Uh, it oh uh, yeah, it entirely it unthreaded un itself. Oh yeah, how did it? How did he even do that? I don't know. Um, sorry, hold on. Now I'm, uh, now I'm doing the, uh, the, like, even, even more modern YouTuber thing where I'm, uh, holding a condenser mic. Dude, all the way I, up to my that's, face that's so bad for audio. Why do you do it? Why do you hold your mic directly? That is not how your mic is meant what, to be held. What these, it's like, what these, what these people don't, don't realize, you know, if they're using a, a ribbon mic, especially, is, um, you know, uh, it's gonna start to mold eventually. You know, your breath causes a lot of condensation. And eventually, you know, when you're speaking into it so fucking closely, you know, 
uh, you're just kind of creating this moisture Dude, chamber in there. Nikki you Jakey know, has fucking stinky. consequences. It's insane how that and like the the rise of like street interviews where like guys are doing like quirky like mic on pencil shit and they hold the mic up to people's head has led to people bringing that back home into the office and directly picking up sure sm7b's like their mics that are meant to be held it is fucking insane. oh my god who the fuck did i see I, I i can't even remember who it was i saw a video where somebody was holding an sm7b literally up to, to their faces like Dude, this th this like mic is literally like the like the, the, the built-in stand it comes for it shock mount yeah the built-in shock, shock mount, mount is meant to be fucking put on a tripod you have to take apart it's base construction to hold it uh i'm back to being normal now yeah um oh wait sorry there's just one other thing uh, okay uh go you fuck yourself good? you piece of shit yeah, you, sound? you sound great okay. cool great awesome uh i think i've, I think I've officially uh found the volume that doesn't completely blow everybody's brains out but it's still uh notably fucked up sounding I stumbled into. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking die, dude! <laughs> no, I stumbled into like a like a like an a thousand subscriber guy doing like fucking analog horror reaction videos, and Whoa. I and I felt like I just like I watched culture die in front of didn't, me. Uh, uh, didn't didn't we get a couple of those with the creepy pasta video? Yeah, there was like a guy that watched it on a Twitch stream, um, and didn't like left it during it halfway through. Kept asking, "Hey, chat, what's happening? What's happening?" Wait, like, like <laughs> there was a like, half, half of the stream was just like an empty chair. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, like empty chair. And then <laughs> I, I skipped around a bit, and um, during the share this section, you just heard like really loud like noises as he smacked down like the most disgusting food you've ever heard uh it's beautiful that's so beautiful we we, we put and he so didn't much get that it was fake he didn't get that it was fake that was a horror that's so youtuber that's it's so insane beautiful. that's so beautiful that's so beautiful that's amazing it's that's so, so like beautiful. i i think something so truthfully beautiful about youtube is that people that are hacks are allowed to be successful i think uh uh and like this which channel is evidence of that Right, yeah, yeah. Like, look at us. You know, we're we're certainly non exempt. You know, I I, I say it all the time, but really, like, just just because none of us are, are college educated doesn't mean that we we don't need to follow the basic rules of ethics. Yeah, you know, it's not hard to just like, you know, look look at at what those are and apply them to your approach to creating content for people to watch while they fall asleep. It was not my mind, to be clear. I don't think that kind of it, it doesn't matter who it is. Yeah. It doesn't matter who it is. Because this is this is like such a such an institution. Yeah. Like an, an inter institutional genre of content that like if it wasn't any one person, it was likely to be, you know, any any other yeah. one. Uh, like the I, individuals I know plenty of videos of matter. mine have had those like uh uh you know, like watching the the video not saying a word, like react videos uh made for them i generally just don't fucking care yeah um because it is it doesn't impact my fucking bottom line yeah i i think uh there's this idea that's like oh yeah you know when somebody is is doing a react video that's got like you know twenty thousand views or whatever you know that's your money that they're stealing yeah. but like i don't think there's a genre of person that is like you know, I could watch this video, or I could watch somebody reacting. To I think it. I actually disagree. Really? I think there was Cause, a, cause to a me, time the vibe when I was more watching like, like people who are Twitch sort of like guys. addicted to uh, the the reactions themselves. Not even that they're any more boisterous or anything else, but just that they make the person feel less alone. There was a, like, a those time people where I was watching are like, uh, like Twitch streamer guys. Not going to watch a video that doesn't have that reaction in it. And I clicked Ergo. into videos that I probably would have watched otherwise. But mm, I only right. watched the reaction version of, of or, or version of. Um, I don't think that's like universal. I think really the, the big thing that fucking react, uh, reaction YouTube can really, really uh, stifle is like smaller creators or people that just released a video. Definitely, yeah. No, I'm talking. I'm I'm specifically talking about people who are on. Hey, like, what around the my fuck? level of of like visibility and and uh, Hazel. What what? Oh. Bro, that's a rana a rana, a rana tar. Your 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 rainatar? 
Uranium? In all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon like this one. I mean, watching l l play, watching Let's Plays versus playing video games is apples to oranges, obviously. Oh God, it's an but actual four-stage evolution, dude. This is all of a uh, this is all a, a topic that's you know so like worn down to death that I don't feel like I have anything of worth to contribute other than I don't fucking lose sleep over people re doing React videos to my stuff. Yeah, the only like the the only only fucking. Um thing that truly uh, uh, got to me about the fucking uh, guy that watched the creepypasta stream. Well, what, what got to me was um, uh, that, that May uh, barely makes rent every month. And I, yeah, I well, well that fuck that. that shit. Like, it was, a, yeah. it was a marathon stream where he got, he got paid to watch each video. Like, people paid him to watch that. And he then got up and left. Go fuck yourself. You, you, you've, you've spoken so many words about this that it's officially not uh, uh, a mystery who you're talking yeah. about. I hope you're ready to incur this upon yourself. I'll survive. Um... Uh, but no, the part that really pissed me off was uh, clicking into the Gmod scre uh, stream, clicking around and saying, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, watch it! Watch oh it! my god, oh my god. Reacting to Hazel videos at two times speed. Okay, you know what? Um, I actually can't say shit now because some one time somebody did pay you a lot of money for me to play their video at like 2% opacity uh, at two times speed. So, you know, they're, they're, you know, two hour video, two times speed. Yeah, but they paid for their own video. Uh, well, right, that is on true. On a stream yeah. where the gimmick was that no one was watching anything that was on screen. Right, yeah, right, yeah. People who say that they always watch videos at two times speed. I've got an important question for you. How are you doing here? Because you can't do that are, here. There are definitely times where they speak too fast for two times speed. You know, there have been times where I've had to skim through one of my videos at two times speed to remember where a certain joke was, or or, or what of my many video folders uh, uh, an image that I would like to reuse is. And every single time I do, I'm like, I speak too fucking fast for this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, by default, I think I already speak at like 1.5 times speed. Yeah, I think... Most of the negative comments I remember on the creepypasta video were just, these broads talk too fast, shut the fuck up. Do you want the video to be fucking two hours long? Do, do, you, want, uh, do you want us to, to do the fucking, like, when I was a little kid, you know, I, uh, you know, you know, when I, when I was, you know, the other day, uh, you know, I was reflecting on, on uh, being a kid, a, um, being a little kid. And this guy uh, just said, I'm so hungry, I could eat a little boy. My character said, are you a cannibal? This guy said, no, I'm a communist. Uh, someone said, does anyone here do two times speed for movies? Sometimes. sometimes. I'll admit it, sometimes. You know, if I'm watching something that's untranslated and, and is very visual and is also more than like an hour long, sometimes if I'm giving it my full attention, I can give it my full attention at twice the speed. Yeah. I think I've uh, uh, already uh, admitted this, and I think I may have even done so in the video, but most of those uh, uh, tokusatsu films, those untranslated, like, dog shit SD video tokusatsu films I watched, were watched at two, sometimes three, sometimes four times speed. You know, those those pornographic ones... If you can't I'm engage not just gonna sit with, there like, like, and one, fucking... like, one third of its entire sensory experience past, like, very <laughs> basic... Like, oh, right. I kind of know what that word means. I think it's fair. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking sit here, arms folded, eyes locked on the screen, watching some of these. My fucking Starbucks first watch of Hump Day, I, um... We would, like, pause and I'd, like, look at my phone for a little bit, like, parts of it. Like, I'd still be listening, but, like... I think some shit is just slow. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think um, a film like that is so, like, dialogue-driven that... Listen, all I'm gonna say is... Okay. Um, Be clear, second watch, I watched that shit without my eyes leaving the fucking screen. I Except believe... to watch uh, Bliss and Wyatt's face, and Marcy's face, and Linus's face. I believe in phone down, head up, you know? Yeah. I think... Um, if you just let yourself be immersed, it can be a lot easier to pay attention to a film than you think. Yeah. Uh, it's just about kind of, um, you know... I think uh, my favorite part uh, about the movie theater the... experience is that you are forced to be phoned down. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, however, 
I also don't think it's the end of the world if uh, through throughout a, a, a film you are distracted by other things. Yeah. Wow, look at this Venonat! Yeah, it's really cute. Oh, it's so cute. I love Venonat. One of my one of my favorite Gen 1 guys, for sure. I would love to bounce it and, like, hold it. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would like being bounced, I hope. Yeah, so, uh, you know, the other day I was, uh, I was locked in a cave. Uh, and, you know, it was two-dimensional, like, like caves tend to be. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was really struggling to find my way out. Would you call it, like, a cave out, story? And, um, no, no, well, I mean, the story I'm about to tell you is a story about a cave. So I guess functionally, yes, it is a cave story. But, you know, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, quantify it that way uh, in isolation. You know, I wouldn't deign it worthy of being called a story. Yeah, it's a tale. Anecdote. You know, well, it's, yeah, it's an anecdote. So it's more of a cave anecdote, you know, if you can get behind that. That's like, a, that's then... like, that's like my favorite pathway. Do you want me to speak up? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Could you speak up a little bit? Yeah, sorry. I got nervous. Uh, that's so like, cool. um, that's... You have nothing to be worried, worried about, that's bro. Like, you know, we've been, like... <laughs> we've been doing this podcast for 300 episodes. And, uh, you know, I feel like our bond has really only ever gotten closer over this time, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I, I know that we're both married men, Yeah. but I feel you know, closer to you than I feel close to my wife sometimes. I know. I know me too. Wow. It's amazing to hear you me say too that. Is what those wines are saying, you know? <laughs> uh, right, exactly. And, you know, here we are, you know, we, we close the door to our rented office space here in the city and, you know, uh, we're in our own yeah. private Just looking at little, the wall. You know, our secret garden, you know, Seeing, like, reflections talking about go, go, like, finances, politics religion it's not real by the way i think that bit kind of got out ahead of me who were we <laughs> you were doing like a gay bit uh <laughs> i just said plato's <laughs> podcast and i got really invested in this podcast is the only room that exists <laughs> <laughs> why is everybody here in uzlocker like why why is every single enemy that i'm fuck me man this sucks oh my god i'm gonna wipe this is horrible Gen 1 rap, man. Someone said ass filter right as he said, I'm gonna wipe and my brain short circuit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think a bunch of the mods early feedback came from Nuzlockers and it got in the devs head. Uh, Could you imagine building- So, so like, this is, this is a, a real Homestuck situation. Could you imagine yeah. building your own torture chamber? <laughs> like it's like oh like I'm, I'm I'm like this is like this is like a coping mechanism but like you're just like you're just giving them more weapons to prod you with. Yeah, my Ivy Sword is named. Hello, first. I am Captain A Cab. Listen, Captain A Cab. <laughs> Wait, actually, is that the with a K, name? not a C, but yeah. Oh damn it! Okay, a Cob. There's a uh, there's a Gary artist I follow that I recently learned that the characters they're drawing uh, are characters from a mobile game, one of which is based off a Moby Dick character. That's always how it fucking goes. It's so this beautiful. This is the modern, the modern state of like, of of Yuri art online is it's all either like people trying to ascertain the like 2006 scribbling in my notebook style to draw girls who smell, or it's like these beautiful fucking like fine art illustrations of either some fucking dick shit nothing mobile game with girls that are gonna be dead in two weeks when they pull the fucking plug on that game yeah or the, instead of that they're drawing interchangeably uh uh beautiful sensual art of of women that you realize are gender bent k-pop boys yeah this is the fucking world we live in man and it's like they always do like so much with the character, like fucking the billion AUs where they have like fucking tattoos and like different hair colors and like like they're, they're no longer the whitest bitch alive. And it's all oh so beautiful until I'm like forced to be fucking grounded. And it's like, oh, yeah, I'm looking at mobile game uh, literature, Yuri. And it's like it, it never works. It's like proper like uh, uh, you never get like looped back into the mobile game unless you're like really, really sad that week. Because, uh, like, all the things that you end up liking about this character, like, this artist and, like, the characters they draw is that they smash lips and or genitals together. Not whatever the right. fuck their personality yeah. in some shitty mobile game Yeah, is. like, with that genre of, of Yuri, it's literally these, like, disconnected drawings where all you can really do is kind of, like, guess at the circumstances. Yeah. Because they don't matter. What you're seeing are two beautiful women. Yeah, the, you know, the most beautiful lines put a, to paper. A beautiful, uh, uh, a beautiful union. Can I finally fucking heal? Can I finally fucking heal, please? Please, 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 please. Where do I heal? Please? Heal, please? 
Fucking uh, Mar- Marcy's been describing PC. to me Here the fact Jesus. that uh, on Dynasty, she is completely out of shit that isn't fucking like uh, like she's out of one shots that aren't fucking Genshin. Like she's like fully depleted the fucking resource. See, this is this is the problem. You're gonna have to start reading that stuff if you want to keep going down that path because it's just where the uh, it's where the tides have shifted. And yeah. unfortunately, people are so slave to these fucking garbage video games that you know people people are basically out here making better art out of these pieces of source material just so they can be involved in a broader community and, yeah. and conversation i i just remembered it it's actually not just um genshin that's left it's also review starlight okay now that one you gotta you gotta you're you're too good for that you gotta close you know? your eyes you gotta close your eyes genshin i guarantee there's some people who are you know cooking with fire the team, so to speak yeah yeah that's spring trap dude like, back in the day, if you wanted to read Boys Kissing, you had to read Doctor Who fanfic. Back in the day, if you wanted to see Boys Kissing, you had to Google search Emo Boys Kissing. Yeah, I think that's a very Ivy synthetic experience. That she's just trying to graft onto being universal. You were just reading fucking David Tennant's smacking lips. Oh, fuck, you know what levels of desperation I've got to? I started reading fucking Jiwachiri. I have absolutely no oh, interest in that you're series. Better than this. No, I'm not. You're better I'm than not. This. I'm really not. I'm really not. I'm sorry. Good God. Good fucking God. When uh, uh, I was staying with a, uh, our, one of our friends, Whiskey, uh, they put on um, like five episodes of Bravern, uh, which is the new fucking. Uh, Bara Yaoi Mecha series, and I felt like a like a dog being trained to be better, just like shoving my face in the shit to tell me not to do that again. But when I told Wait, them I was reading G how does that Cherry, map? oh, like here's how you could do this properly. Oh, like here's here's real entertainment for yeah. you. Yeah, here's good slop, not bad slop. Right. Yeah. Here's here's good not good slop, not the slop that just kind of resembles you. Yeah. D- right. To a right. T. Yeah. You should not probably read Doja, and I'm gonna go out on a limb. You know it, that that will come to you in time if sh- if it does. You know you can't you can't force that. Um, yeah. Like seeing like peaks into fandoms uh, has been weird. Cause like I, I don't I I feel like a tourist. Mm, right. Right. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's too much work to be that invested in that sort of thing, I feel like. Like, you really need to be willing to make that your life, basically. Yeah. I don't get how you can read fanfic of something you've not seen. Um, I mean, you can just sort of intuit the dynamics from the way that it's written a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the time, objectively, these media franchises, pretty watery to begin with. Yeah, they don't have you know, much going they're on. They're pretty diluted, so it's not exactly hard to just kind of put the pieces together yeah like especially when so much of the shit that like i'm looking at is like so different from its fucking source material which is so different from its source material right yeah 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 we're we're down to the layers of obfuscation we're in like four weeks this is something they're gonna like redraw all of this as ocs and all of the ocs (laughs) look exactly how they've been drawing their characters just with a different name the chair of the pokemon fan club has caught over 9,000 Pokemon. Oh, fuck! That's like the- that's like- Hey, May, are you ready for chat to turn into, uh, saying the names of visual novels you've never heard of? I'm not the bad over and over really again. quickly. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, the, maybe I'll last out the storm. Caught my Ooh. Larvitar with it because it gave it the best IVs. Um, uh, I don't- I don't think it gives them the best IVs. I think it gives them the IVs that they would need to be shiny if they were transferred into a Gen 2 game. Ah. Right? Maybe? I don't actually know. Because um, I was thinking if that's the case, then if they made trades to Gen 2 compatible, oh, it theoretically totally would it would be shiny in that. But then of course it would also have like wood type moves. So, yeah. You know. And also this Larvitar can uh, evolve into a, a, a sports into your, stage. Into Uranitar, yeah. yeah. But yeah, speaking of uh, the, the, A, the, the A-word game, the bug game. Uh, uh, the A word game? Oh, Ant Legion. Yeah, that 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 term's banned in this chat now, by the way. That's great. That's a, that's hilarious. Um, I had like a genuine like crisis um driving down to Carolina with Bliss, where I was like, oh god, I'm like I'm good. I, I I like I can influence people. That's so scary. Um, I remember my first one of those. Just like oh god, I'm gonna check in the tool to download it. A mobile game. Uh, <laughs> Wait, why are you not allowed to say the name anymore? 
Oh, I, I am. I saw one like, I don't want them to like search the VODs and find fucking the name being mentioned. They're not gonna though. But it was just like a, it was just like a weird moment. Like, oh God, I can, I can tell people to do things and they'll do it. That's scary. What do you mean? Stop it. It's not scary if you have scruples. I do. Is the thing. But like, I you even know, had that so like a good better. thing. Like fucking Nate DM'd me about um, uh, like front bottom album recommendations. I was like, oh god, people listen to me. What the fuck? Stop, 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 stop. Or like the first yeah, thing that Yeah, I always someone... just have this. I always have the thought of like, why me? I have fucking terrible opinions. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Or like the Go first, somewhere else. The first person that came into the Switch chat, like, oh, I just listened to Beyond the Fleeting Gales. That's like a really good record. I was like, I'm glad you got there, but why me? How did I get you there? I think uh, the the funny step <clears throat> that comes after, oh my god, people actually listen to my recommendations and and uh, uh, take sort of like, you know, are sort of influenced by the things I say. Uh, you know, after you reach that point, eventually you reach the point of, oh my god, like, I can spot people who have just taken my every recommendation as gospel. Yeah. Because like who who else would be logging fucking butt attack girl Gotamon and uh Vampiros Lesbos on Letterboxd in the same week otherwise? Yeah. Like <clears throat> you can like see like the types of person that have interacted with your work just like a uh, right. the proximity. Well, not not just interacted with because that's one thing, but specifically like you, you almost start to kind of get a sense for the people where it's like Oh, I kind of like opened opened the door for this person to kind of like find weirder, more like fucked up, uh, yeah, bad media. You helped them trip um, on a vine and trip down the hill. Yeah, yeah, and like you know, I I needed to get there too, and I guarantee you that if you uh you know you look at my like watch history, if you look at my favorite films, it becomes pretty obvious which kind of seminal pieces of writing about cinema really spoke to me in in tender times in my life yes i'm looking at you the house of psychotic women um but you know hi polytoad um, someone was talking about loving polytoad earlier that's the payoff yeah, poly yeah polytoad is great that guy's great uh gino i can't tell if you're doing a joke or not when you ask me uh if i have ever considered writing a book the answer is um uh no <laughs> i like I think um, the the sort of like inevitable like you know I'm in my 60s and now it's time for you to hear my true story yeah. kind of autobiography. It's time for me to have a retirement um, fund. Right. Yeah. Like ideally, my life will not be interesting enough that that it will necessitate one. But let me tell you, with Hound the year evolving. I've had so Hound far, is evolving. Hound is evolving. Hound is evolving. Hound is evolving. Hound is evolving. Yeah. B basically, my dog each. got big. Um, wow, the little hound sprite is so cute. Oh god, you know what a fucking insane um, thing that has happened to me is I've had a lot of people in this shop be like, yeah, man, I started listening to the breeders because of you. And it's like, dude, I I, I have false cred. I stole the yeah, shit from Hazel. That is, that is false cred for sure. Yeah. Don't don't ascribe this to me. You know, chat, the uh the thing that made me decide to listen to the uh, the breeders was um I mean number one thinking to myself, you know. I like I like I like Pixies fine, but like all the best you know, Kurt was right, all the best songs are the ones that, that Kim wrote. I should probably just listen to her band. Yeah. The final push for me was remembering that fucking uh Britt Walford, the dude from fucking uh Slint, was their drummer for their first album. That was what did it. Oh, someone quit their jobs to watch your stream full time. I saw that chat message and I had a heart attack thinking it was serious. <laughs> Outsourcing the taking everything I like from things Hazel mentions to only listen to things that May likes because of Hazel. Well, because like you're not like no god honoring then, then, member of society listens to women's voices. You need to double up on two of them for it to like fully get through your head. <laughs> Listening to the breeders because Cannonball was used in the South Park movie trailer. Is that wow. real? Wow, I did not know that. I I kind of have to investigate that right fucking now. Is, wow, that is. Yeah. That's wild. Why'd they do that? I feel like I just got, like, rattled really badly. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a baby that got shook really fucking hard. Of course that's something that Geno7 would know about. 
I remember a childhood memory where I watched someone smell eye cup and then start crying in the bathroom. I don't remember if that was something I was privy to or happened to me. <laughs> I don't want to do my fucking... I don't want to do my fucking... I don't want to give- I don't want to do my fucking taxes, man. Oh, you poor thing. Do you want to, like, hire someone in Twitch chat to do it for you? Hey, any accountants in chat? Or, or even just people who feel like giving it a shot. It's like, um, uh, you know, getting your- getting a free haircut from a college student, you know? Yeah! You still, like, want to give it a shot. Like, I'll probably get burnt from it, you know? But- but at least, you know, it's free. Yeah. And like, maybe you'll find a new way to sell your hair that you never really thought of beforehand. If there's a chance it could be successful, or at the very least it'll be cheap. Uh, Pyro, I need you to explain more of this. Uh, I've- I've read- Uh, May, if I say the title of a series that I'm allowed to say, will you get in so. trouble? I don't okay. think so. You don't think I can say it, or you don't think that you'll get in trouble? Dykes to watch out for. Is the series correct? It's the series, yeah, yes, that cool. is the, the It is the name of a comic book. I think if we say the full thing the Twitch. entire time, every yes, time we'll be yeah. okay. And never, never abbre uh, uh, abbreviate it as just the first word in in passing and shorthand. Yeah, because then they'll kill you. Yeah, because then they'll kill me. You know, it's um, it's for educational purposes. I'm saying that word for educational purposes. I said, you know what keeps burning me on Twitch streams, the. The the gay person slang for looking good. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I think it's crap every time. I feel like eventually, eventually they're gonna have to loosen their reins on the goddamn c word because people say it in 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 so many more ways now. Yeah. No, I have gotten basically every single vod that I've ever gotten like restricted has been because of that word in that exact context. That's so fucking crazy. Like, if I was, like, 10% more annoying, I would scream homophobia. Like, no, I literally can't even allow that Twitch chat message, because I think they grab fucking text on screen sometimes. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. How fucking annoying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Hazel? Yeah? That's ADC. You can take that Pokemon inside the Pokeball on the table. It's a gift for you. Hi, Bagon. What's the most Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, Bagon? What? I just had a stroke, I'm sorry. <laughs> Balloon Boy would have been good, but I don't know how I'm gonna use Bagon. Are you a Baggins sayer? Uh, I don't think I say either. I think I said bag on for a long time, but I, that also feels wrong to me. How do they say it in the anime? I think that's like the last generation where I was basing, basing my pronunciations off of what they said in the cartoon. What's good with the fucking, uh, I forget, I forget what it is. What's fucking good with the, the anime RCS pronunciation? Do they say like Arceus? <laughs> if so, they're doing that like uh, to be combative, yeah. you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. There's, uh, there's still like a type of guy that takes the fucking, uh, like anime pronunciations as end all be all. And when it's like, Pokemon Company hasn't even fucking res respected the anime in, like, a decade. <laughs> Why do professors keep inventing new Pokemon every couple of years? It's like, pronouns. Anyway, when you complete the Pokedex... Wait, that is, not, is, that a, is that an actual line? No, of course not. Okay, okay. Pronoun Mon? That's, that's gonna be like a, like a really killer Daily Wire parody cartoon for children. Oh yeah, yeah, and they're gonna- They'll they're get gonna the fucking, fucking drone striked by the Pokemon company before year's <laughs> end. It is pretty sad that only PETA, uh, is- is like, um, misguided enough and- and- and, uh, uh, brazen enough to, uh, to infringe on copyright so blatantly like that. What is this gay pose? Well, he's a Metal Gear character. You all- well, okay, yeah, you're right, of course. No, that does- that does completely immediately explain it. Oh, this game just hyped up the battle tower, and then it's not finished. Oh, thank god. And this is the last update. Oh, I'm actually really excited. Thank god. Thank god. I didn't want to fight, oh, like, a fucking ex accuracy I was so worried it was gonna be, like... Yeah, I was worried it was gonna be, like, baked into the, the main story. Fucking Drillber? I brought that up to Gen 5. Oh my god. No, it's up to Gen 6, isn't it? <gasps> yeah, yeah, because there's Sylveon, there? yeah, yeah. It's so cool how Sylveon is, like, the only memorable Gen 6 Pokémon. Uh, I mean, hold on now. There's also Clefki. And Phantom. And 
Uh, I was literally about to say Pumpkaboo. That's very funny. That's the- that's the three! I like- I like the, uh, the Aurora dinosaur guy. Yeah, he's cool. And with those four, we've named, like, one-tenth that game's decks. <laughs> oh, fuck, I just- I just encountered the Rage Sisters. Hello. Hi. I'm getting my shit kicked in by the Rage Sisters right now. I've been <laughs> Do you know, this message is fucking insane. I've been rewatching a lot of AVGN lately, and I got the, <laughs> the norovirus last night. For some reason, I got the norovirus. Like, uh, my first time reading that message was like, how the fuck did you get norovirus from rewatching AVGN? <laughs> and was kept up all night by recurring hypnogogic? <laughs> Stress nightmares. Hypno hypnagogic? Hypnagogic stress nightmares about being James Rolfe and dealing with his video production and pipeline. Um, all I have to say is, um, I got very, very, well, not very, very sick. I got sick. I was super heavily congested. I felt terrible. My throat hurt so goddamn bad. I did not have any, any nightmares where I was trapped in James Rolfe's <laughs> editing bay. <laughs> And I'm feeling a little jealous of that fact. Like there, I think yeah, like, there hey, is hey, at bro, least. Could you, could you hold this for me, dude? I think there is at least one or two games where there is a cross section of item limit and um, uh, held items. I think mm, it's Gen right. Two. Is people try one of those evolutions that gets worse for a little bit? I don't think that's really a thing. I think it. I think it's only if you catch them in that stage, then they don't know like any anything. Yeah. When I was a kid, I didn't understand what held items were, so I just let my guys hold polka dolls and things. That's so cute! You gave them their toys! When I played Emerald, Absil's deck entry made me so sad I gave it a soothe bell to make it happy! Why do all of my fucking Pokémon have berries, but they don't use them in battle? What's your least favorite subclass of trainer? I think mine's Bird Keepers. Yeah, they're, um... It's like... You know, the bug catcher is is easy to hate on on its face, but like that's Pokemon in a nutshell. No yeah. matter what you want. Uh no matter no matter what you think the franchise is, at its heart of it, the bug catcher archetype is that. I feel like I feel like bird catcher is is a pretty good one to pick. I think bird catchers reminds me of like a bygone era. Like Right. They're kind of dying out as Pokemon grows more and more. Well, I think like, like they the, kind of the feel like a thing of, of necessity. All the birds being kind of uh, indistinguishable from another probably aren't helping in that respect. Also, like I think about how a lot of the Pokemon in Gen One are are birds. So it's like okay, cool. Right. This is going right. to be a type of trainer, so we have like an excuse to have Pidgeys and Furos all over the routes. Oh my god, he's going to give me a fossil. Oh my god, the fucking fossil can't even go into the goddamn fucking key items, dude. It just fucking hit me how actually weird animal signifiers are in Pokemon. Like, what do you mean bird what? keeper and fisherman? Like, 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 what? What? What are you saying? Okay, no, because like, okay, listen, not all flying types are birds and not all uh -huh. birds are flying types. And it's like, right. like, how would they get to the qualifier of bird? in the Pokemon oh, universe. Right, yeah. I mean, that's like, you know, that's Pikachu totally the electric mouse Pokemon. Yeah, like, but like, I was where, thinking like fishermen, and it's like, not everything a fisherman catches in Pokemon is a fucking fish. Like, Seedra's right. not a goddamn fish, dude. May, did you know the fish seen in the first season of the anime are canon in a non-animation era? You should make a thousand YouTube shorts about it. I will, thanks. Ah, uh, okay, You. it's not the rival. You need, um, the, the guy who stole it uh, needs something to smash a window with, so you need to find a, a heavy brick for him. I think I found the heavy brick. Hold up. Do you know where? Uh, it's on the route to the next town. Um, okay, cool. Just popping in to say that your Robot Girl stream was like how people describe the average streamer stream but real and scary. That fall hard at the end? Yeah, I'm still sore on like the entire right side of my body. Oh yeah, I've just been mistaking the C's in this game for O's a lot of the time because the of how dark the text is. Yeah. I just read this as Soither. That's what the woke left wants to do to him. Smoke weed every day. There, there it is, Hazel. 
it was only a matter of time. Do you think this guy has ever smoked weed? Once uh, no, in his life? no. I think no. it's it's like it's like early TGT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. no Which weed has like... ever touched his lips, and then when he does actually start smoking weed, you can tell. Yeah, there, there there's a kind of um, uh, tranquility and kind of holy holiness to the uh, guy who has never smoked weed making weed jokes. I think those are those are the the purest among us, you know. Yeah. I was watching the VOD and wasn't sure if chat was real or not. I never saw them break kayfabe, so I had to check Twitch, and that's the only reason I caught that stream. This stream, sorry. That's fucking crazy. Um, you know, I think part of the fun of Twitch streams for me and doing weird shit on them is that that chat has to kind of react on the fly. I've got money, girls, and Oddish. Is that a line of dialogue, or is that just true of you? No, that's a line of dialogue. That Mankey just That's said. great. Oh, I'm making more, sorry. One more Q ball. Need. He doesn't even have a fucking Oddish in his team. Lying piece of shit. Oh, is Oddish? It's weed. I yeah, think uh, weed. I think Oddish might be being used as a, a euphemism yeah. for drugs. Uh, oh yeah, darn! So, you know, I just I forgot was, my uh, Oddish at home. You know, the other day I was at the store and uh, this guy pulls me over. You know, as I'm leaving, he kind of you know grabs me by the arm and you know my impulse is to smash his fucking face in. Um, but you know I. I know how to control myself, you know, yeah. I'm a strong guy, but I'm not a rage sister. I'm not a rage sister, you know, I'm not one of those fucking rage sisters. Um, but so, so, so yeah, he, uh, he, he pulls me aside and it's like, hey, do you know where to get any Oddish? And I go, you know, look at me, you know, I'm a married man, I've got children, I'm six foot two, a hundred, a lean, 180 pounds. Pure muscle. You've been you looking know. good recently, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I know, right? You know, my personal trainer, um, you know, uh, that I found through the sponsor of this episode. Um, Betterhelp.com. You know, and I, I just think, like, why does this guy think I know where to get Oddish? Yeah. And so, of course, I told him where to get Oddish, because of course I know. You know, I'm cool. I'm hip. It just helps me relax. Yeah. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, you're allowed to say that. Don't worry, dude. But no, but like with our sponsorships. Um, they're like two years out from like selling weed directly to kids. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. 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 We can bleep it in the episode. Yeah. Ja right. Jamie, right, can you yeah. cut that out? Yeah. Cool. No, I'll cut that shit out. I love you, bro. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, mommy, where are you? Our evil mommy always forgets us here. I think this is, um, I think there's only like one or two times in the main series where they like force you to remember that en leaving and, sorry, entering and leaving a load zone resets trainer positions. Uh, because I've just noticed that yeah, hack, yeah, this yeah. hack has started to do that a lot. Like to reset yeah, the yeah, rage yeah, system yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to leave and come back. Right. Yeah. There was one of those, um, leading out of the last town on like a separate exit as well. A separate yeah, exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just realized I forgot to check out. So I'll have to go back to that and see if I missed anything of any interest. Harlem Shake. No fucking way. Just just like proclaimed it. Also, I just think the spell shake shows you her middle finger. This is very uh, uh Ava Sim date RPG. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, this is this is not the camping brother. This is someone else. Please tell me what type of guns you got. It's an Ava for Sim date. Yeah, it is. I'm having so much fun, actually. Do you, do you remember the um uh the the running thread throughout that where you have to like help Oscar buy and smuggle drugs? I mean, sorry, uh, uh, guns. I think it's the best video game. Yeah, I don't think that anybody ever made a better video game than that one. Sprink traps uh profile sprite here looks like a well-meaning but entirely overdeveloped furry OC. Like they're trying to combine all of their interests into their 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 fursuit, and just not coming together. Like they're trying to get a, like a bit of tokusatsu the, in there. The 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 menu sprite of Spring Trap, yeah. What real Pokemon is that? A uh, Pupitar. I don't think I can follow you on this. Oh, I'm too old for driving. You're too. You're what? The guy said he was too old for driving. At least yeah, he's conscious of the, it. The one the one nice thing about this game having 20 trillion fucking encounters at all times is that at the very least, you know, the absolute least, there's a lot of funny non sequitur dialogue. Yeah. Can no! We, we count, I forgot my children at the we... route gate. Wait! Those children got left at the route gate while their mom went to go gamble! <gasps> oh! And that's how they got kidnapped! I'm glad I got to voice them. 
Wow. I'm studying the Epsilon Tract. It's so cool. Hey, this is the Epsilon Tract. Join the Epsilon program. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this is direct fucking um, gold GTA relic. 5 dialogue, a I think. quite precious gold no, relic. I think the world is 157 years old. Our cove's access is in a cave nearby a ghost town as old as the world. Strength and surf required. We descend from ancient aliens. The Epsilon program. War makes Dryagen unleash his powers. It will teleport every Pokemon to our dungeon. The Epsilon program consists in, consists in extinguishing every Pokemon in the world. Without Pokemon, the world will be ruled by Kiflom. So that's Kiflom's plan. Hey, don't uh, look at my notes. This what? is utter nonsense. Can you translate this for me? Uh, but basically there's a cave where you can summon a legendary and make it get mad and then it will summon every Pokemon in the world and then they're gonna kill them all so they can be god kings or whatever. Okay. I don't really know uh -huh. what that has to do with the nation like conflict. I thought this was right. about baseball. Where's the Yeah, wh what are baseball? when are we gonna get to play some fucking baseball? Me and the boys have wanted to play b-ball for it years. Pretty, it would have been a pretty good bit if we had um set this up so that we could just like tab over to a Game Boy Color baseball game every time we do a gym fight. Uh, you know, just just play a game of baseball. Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello! I'm the official name raider. Oh fuck, I can legally oh, change wow. my Pokemon's names now. I like all of them too much. Oh darn, I blew it all at the slots. Now many gorillas are after me seeking payment. Nonsense dialogue. Like, I'm sure some of these references, like, maybe made sense if you were in this guy's friend group. But so much of it is fucking nonsense. And that's how it- that's how it should fucking I'm be. I'm the spirit of the statues. What, really? So, are you looking for the gym? Look for a secret switch in the game corner. You know, I like how fucking, like, just, like, incomprehensible this game is. Yeah, it's great. <clears throat> Hazel. It's certainly more interesting than if it had Hazel. been perfectly coherent. Yeah? I just found out it's California. What? <laughs> Did you unlock another song? No, I just found Hotel California. Oh, you mean literally the area is called Hotel California. I'm loving this guy's like well, boomer music taste. The, the blind guy speaks in braille. Uh, I'm not allowed to decide whether or not that's funny. Um, I, 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 I feel like I just got hit somebody, with a hammer. Tell me if, can somebody tell me if that's if I'm allowed to find that funny or not? I'm whipping out the Braille translator. If I am about to read the words jack me off or whatever, I'm gonna blow this game up with my mind. That would be great. That would be awesome. Jack do loves Jack do loves me, but Sphinx of I kind of fucking love this like Oh my god, fuck carpet. you! Jack do Wait, loves my big Sphinx of Squirts? It's the Braille alphabet? Uh, oh what? Fucking mean. What does you that just, mean? Like, you just got like fez puzzled, did? Yeah, like literal nonsense. I just got so. I've never been more confused by two NPCs in a video game. There, the, there's a woman in there that turns off the light, and then you have to scramble around the dark to talk to her again to turn it back on. Oh my god. This is in Hotel California. Yeah. Actually, cool. Fat Burger offers a lot of products. Gambling ruined my life. Now many gorillas are. Gulp? I better not dine here every day. It's unhealthy. Peace sells, but who's buying? I'm listening to metal. Hi. Oh, that's a that's a Mega Death reference. What the fuck is going on? I. Racket game. Oh, corner. there's a fucking daycare in this game. Yeah. Where's the slow motion cheat? Oh, hi, champ in the making. Burris cities. Oh, you know why Shin Megami Tensei 1 and 2 are the best few games of all time? What? 2 has a gambling mini game. I completely forgot about that. That's how I got the best equipment in the game. I gambled for six hours. Sorry. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. This, this, no, it's this, it's this text. It's this dialogue. Uh. Has Team Rocket always been called Team Rocket in this game? Oh, has it? No. Team Rocket no way, comes right? from the region of Koto? Oh. Kanto and Johto combined? Kanto what the fuck? And, and. 
Or is it Sinnoh? I'm scared. No, it's Kanto and Johto, right? Have there been off-brand region names this entire game? I'm here with- No, because that we've just not noticed? No, Lynette said she was moving to Hoenn. I'm here with money from child support. No. Okay, so this game is about trying to unify the Freho and the other region. About trying to unify them? I thought it was about trying to best them. Best the other and, like, take them over. Unification right, yeah. through- warmonger means um uh, yeah right yeah is that what happened Unif unification would be their word for it yeah so kanto and johto combined into one region what what is oh, the geopolitical fucking oh, like like uh, what's happening that's crazy what is happening in this world yeah like i feel like i got lobotomized like lobotomized but the rod they put in my brain to lobotomize me was like picking up like specific radio frequencies of like geopolitical right, news yeah. happening no no sorry ah johto stutters as prizes but it's hard to win at slots oh and i can buy totodile w what what i just bought syndiquil he's too fucking much man <laughs> i just i just bought syndiquil dude how do you spell chard like like something has been charred. Yeah, is it one R or, or two like R's? D H A R R E D. Cool. Uh, so this is charred Mike. <laughs> this is uh, Michael Afton after. Um, That's pretty esoteric. Yeah. Oh, I can also buy an Umbreon and a Master Ball and oh. rare candies. For how much money? Wait, where are you? I'm at the gamble. Oh, wait. When, when does it open up? Because they're making it sound like it's not open yet. That's Unless the, I was just that's... like at a storehouse for the the gam the gamble. You know, it's in the top left of the. the wow, top. look at Swineup. Look at how tiny Swineup is. Not for miners. Too bad. Oh, go fuck yourself. Oh no, I oh got it. Never mind. All right, Mama's betting big. M Mama's betting big. Why are there so many people going on May like at the gambling hall? Well, you know. Oh, good Heracross. That's a really good Heracross. You know, I genuinely think gambling is probably one of the main reasons that the fucking older Pokemon games aren't on Switch. No. Right? Because, I mean, when they brought uh, the Johto games over, they didn't, like, rem did they remove the game corner? I don't think so. Like, to, to the 3DS? I'm pretty sure they didn't. Yeah, so I feel like probably it would be fine, right? But I wonder how shitty that would be inside of like one of their fucking nested Switch Online apps. Like, I'd get the whole app rated as M for Mature or 12 uh, plus or whatever. Right, 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 right. But also, they have like fucking Perfect Dark in the N64 ones. So probably not. Who cares? I feel like this game has given me like 12 threads for things I need to do, but like absolutely zero uh, guidance for how to accomplish Again, nesting any of them. doll. Every single area in this town feels like I'm here slightly too early, but there's also nowhere else for me to go, right? Oh, right. I haven't even found the, the go-kart path yet. Where is that? Uh, it's weird. Like, the, the entrance to it is weird? Yeah, it's like, um, in the area, um, where you get the fucking, um, where you get the, the voucher, you have to go, like, up from it, I the, think. The cart voucher? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. So I need to backtrack from here now? This is the town where you get the cart. You did this like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, you have to backtrack from there. Cool. I'm jealous that I'm not uh, in a position to gamble away my, my funds as well. I'm like, fuck man, I gotta play catch up. Gen 1's glitch wiki just lists the entirety of slot machine's mechanics as a glitch. <laughs> That's so funny. I saw fucking- there's like fucking like Gen 1 challenge runs where you try and do it like perfectly glitchless is literally harder than just like- Oh yeah 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 game. yeah. Yeah like- like to quantify it as glitchless is almost like a- like a misnomer. Um, like yeah to go through the game glitchless you have to like actively break it back into shape. Right right. Oh yeah yeah check out that fucking go-kart. This is crazy. Isn't this because um originally there was a um- like a beta, uh, beta go kart or something insane like that. Probably, maybe. I don't. I'm trying to gamble so bad right now, dude. It's so great that Hazel can actually catch up because May fell into slots. Yeah, no, this is perfect. Keep this up. Eventually, I'll win. 
And this is like a uh, fucking gas station gambling simulator. I'm like tapping on the, the button really loudly and the teller is just like fucking begging me to stop. But she's not saying anything because she'd probably get fired if I yelled at her. But her eyes are begging me to stop tapping that plastic as loud as I possibly could. But I think I'm going to win if I tap harder. So I'm tapping as hard as I possibly can and thinking about how I need this. I need this. I need this. And this is how I'm going to get my wife back. I think my wife's never going to come back. I think on, on, on pretty much all of this. Like the game's plot? No. Like, what the fuck you were just talking about? Oh. What I was any of those words recounting a main McDougal experience. <laughs> Dude, I'm God's strongest gambler right now. My text putter does go well with the slot machine. You know, like, I could totally, like, imagine, like, a space-themed slot machine at all of the gas stations I went to. Right, I forgot that they have gas gas station slot machines in your party. Yeah, that's of the world. that's the fucking what I was describing. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Like watching old people just like throw away their fucking life savings angrily, hating every second of it in smoke shops was one of the most like grueling parts of that job. Yeah, that's uh Yeah. I did that thing where I hit the quick time event on veering the conversation into far darker, sadder <laughs> territory than we have any reason to, yeah. to, to bring it to. Could you imagine if you went to like a casino parlor and just one of the like the six images on the little slot machines was a picture of your dog? Like the thing was- It's pretty cool that, that these berries uh, cannot be used, but also do not proc in battle. And, and, uh, and so they're, they're useless and you can't use them. I forgot, are the, um, the fucking uh, berries in the slot machine in, in Gen 1 and 2 actual Pokemon berries? Like in the real uh, Pokemon world? Or are they no, just fake I don't cherries? Think so. I think they're just fake cherries. It would be hype if you saw your real dog at the slot machines. It would be hype if my real dog was playing a slot machine, yeah. Yeah. Um, except there's just one problem. What's that? Uh, I don't have a dog. Yeah, but it would be hype if you did, and it was there. Yeah, right. To totally. Fuck yeah. I yeah, remember. I remember my grandma had like one of those like coin fake slot machines that you could use at home. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that was oh so charming as a kid. And yeah. It went next to her like uh, talking Gilligan's Island home, where if you I opened think, the um, roof, the theme song would play. One of my um, one of my relatives had one of those. Um. And I was kind of enamored with it just because, you know, a small version of something that is big. Uh, and also, you know, I, I as a child am allowed to play it. Like, that's just sort of inherently fascinating yeah. to me. Um, and I think I might have, like, pulled out my, like, Game Boy Advance and, like, gone to the game corner in, in probably Pokemon Yellow just to like sync up with what was happening in my oh, real life. Oh, that's so cute. I, I might be misremembering that slightly. Uh, my, I might be embellishing that memory without realizing it. But uh, yeah, I also remember being very enamored by the tiny slot machine. Yeah, I remember like just like ringing and going like, wow, that's so cool. There's something like adults do, but like tiny. Yeah, that same grandma had a uh, like a full collection of like Elvis dolls. Um, Whoa. Like, there's a I, universe I, where I listen to her and I'm like a huge Elvis head. Grandma's having like, like, hyper specific, uh, uh, interests, uh, like that is, is, is very, uh, kind of funny and charming to me. Yeah, she had like a whole wall of them. It was like that and like really, really old Barbies. I remember one of the mm. times I was looking up there, like, to pull the slot machine down to play with it. And I saw like a razor up there that my uncle left there. And I managed like a to, shaving razor. Yeah, right? I managed to cut my face open with it. I remember very vividly <laughs> bleeding the most I'd ever bled for the first time looking at a wall of Elvis dolls. Wow. Just like transfixed looking at all of them as more blood than I've ever seen before comes out of my <laughs> own face. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful memory. Yeah. That's like something that's th th that's very Lynchian. <laughs> I like Look, cause that was that was before like the Roach House got really bad. So like I had like a right. Lynchian era, and then it was like a fucking just, like, <laughs> just sad. My grandma didn't speak English, but loved Alex Trebek. That's the exact sort of fucking grandma hyperfixation I'm all yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. 
I think I've told the story before, but like the two times I ever got stitches were because I was really excited for the things in my life. Um, <laughs> one of them was it was Christmas Eve and I was running around the house all excited and my sock got tr caught in a loose nail on the floor. Um, and I tripped into the corner, which had a second loose nail. Oh my god. And it hit me directly in the chin, opened my face up, and I had to get stitches on Christmas Eve. Uh, and the guy in the doctor's house was like, you're you're being so brave right now, honey. And I'm just like, oh, I want Santa tomorrow, dude. I, I'm, I'm chill with this. Um, I kind of uh, can't believe that there were that many loose nails <laughs> that, 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 that they could both thwart you simultaneously. <laughs> and then I also had fucking, um, I like brought in my uh, childhood favorite st uh, stuffed animal, which was... A cat, a cat toy. Yeah, it was a cat toy. It was a cat toy mouse. Um, named Cheesy, and I think the other one was named Mousy. I had two in my life. And I brought him in. creative fucking child. I'm Do sorry! Better. Do fucking better. To be clear, like, I knew they were cat toys. It was like a, like, oh, it's like really cute and fits in my pocket. I wasn't like, just like, so poor that the only stuffed animals I could afford were cat toys. It was just probably an added benefit for my mom. Um, I think, to me, the comedy lies less in the, um the 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 kind of like poverty implicit and more just like the like of course you of all people given the choice would gravitate toward the fucking the fucking cat toy the small the mouse cat toy. toy yeah yeah um and i was so excited to show it off um to all my classmates uh, and i like i got up really excitedly to show it to someone and um as i was like running through the classroom to go um show it to someone a kid like threw their chair out um to like kind of like thwart me and they knocked my fucking head against the desk and i had to get uh stitches on my again again all with the fucking stitches it's brutal <laughs> uh on my fucking um like upper left part of my eye you can see them in certain lights not really anymore but if you look really look really closely there's like um like marks on my face Wait, so you, you've got a scar on the upper side of your eye. I've got one on the lower side of my eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that's that's like yeah, sister character. Design. I hadn't seen um, your scar until, it, like, while we were shooting the Vineyard, like, the light hit you, like, really beautifully, and it became, like, incredibly clear. I think it was in a Target makeup aisle. Yeah, um, I, I don't know that anybody has ever, like noticed it before i've had the chance to just tell the story because you need to be like pretty pretty up close uh to my face in order to uh to to notice it on your own well, i'm sorry uh, <laughs> wanna suicide there is, there hope. is hope call, call the, the number. number i gotta say i'm a little disappointed by the uh pokemon the the access to to pokemon in this game yeah, they've been weirdly just Gen 1 guys except for trades. I, I, yeah, I, I'm kind of like... Like Gen 1 and 2. Like my, I haven't added any new Pokemon to my team. Or even like felt the need to catch any. Like you know, you know it's rough when a game has Gen 6 Pokemon and I'm like, oh, Ponyta. <laughs> Fucking seriously. Like I had to buy a Cyndaquil to get a fire type. Ugh. This game takes a lot of influence from the the Jod or the uh, Sinnoh games. Yeah, yeah. This hasn't been a problem for me for years. So the story is funny now, but one time I texted one of those numbers in a moment and maybe do like a diversity census form first. So I just put my phone down and took a nap. That's how they fucking get you, dude. You just get like so pissed off. You just like log off. I guess it, I guess it worked. Someone in chat just heard us make that fire type joke and said, is it because Son Sinnoh is the best? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, look, everything that I was saying about Ocarina of Time at the start, where like I started off a hater and, and now I see the light, I think the opposite is true for the Sinnoh games. Yeah. Like, I, um, they, they were hugely, hugely important to my development, uh, and I will love them forever, but oh my god, what were they thinking? A guy I know called a suicide hotline, and the whole music was You've Got the Music in You by the New Radicals. Oh. 
My god. Dude, they want people to fucking do it! That's... I don't have words. Like, I've never heard, like, such clear, precise words of they want you to kill yourself. That's cr fucking crazy. Like, I think the only fucking way that it could be any different is if the second you call their number, they fucking send you, an like, a text with an ASCII image of low-tier god. Like, I think <laughs> that is the only way that could be more fucking clear with what they want you to do. Dude, this fucking traded uh, uh, Loudred is 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 my my fucking like kill button, dude. Yeah. Nothing survives. That suicide hotline playing that new radical song is like a, like a fire punch moment. No, no, that's literally like like that. That's that's the kind of like uh, uh cosmically bleak but like interminably funny. Uh uh. Like, that feels written, you know? Yeah. Like, that's, like, witty. Like, I'm mad I didn't write that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, Harlem Shake. Yeah, you were right, May. Oh, no! It won't obey me anymore! Oh, fuck! Your kill button got too big! Oh, fuck no, me, No, because, like, man. playing the fucking mash game, or, like, playing a song about how cool suicide is, doesn't, like... No, there's no, there's no dramatic irony there. Yeah, it doesn't know? like convince you in the way like, that that like, fucking song would. You know, to uh, to to invoke a concept that I uh, uh, come back to every now and again uh, uh, with regards to transgressive art. You know, the things that made me feel the most alienated when I was at my most miserable were things that were really shiny and happy and and are s sort of like position themselves as being comforting. Yeah. I'm not necessarily saying that that is the deal with that new radical song or whatever. Yeah. But like the the sort of like a, a I would not clearly... ascribe the term wholesome to you got the music in you for the new radicals. Well, I, no, I, I I I would ascribe that to it. Ergo, it's the last song that I want to be hearing when I'm thinking about, you know. You know. You know. Like, I hear that and it's sort of just like, oh, fuck you. Fuck off. It's funny because when here. he told me he forgot the song name and said the song they play in Scooby Doo 2 when they go back to the old clubhouse. Oh my god. Holy fucking Could you imagine shit, being dude. seconds from the legend going, hey, isn't that the song from Scooby Doo 2? You know, I guess you can at least, uh, 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 you know, give, give, give better health that they, they aren't gonna, uh, bother to license music that expensive, so you at least don't have to deal with that. Oh, Hotel California is a, is a love hotel. That's, uh, like, so funny. <laughs> oh my god, no fucking pee, pee I cannot believe the fucking gauntlets this game expects you to fucking put yourself through. Maybe if I could just use these fucking berries during battle, things would be different. Is Better Health currently on a, um, we're sorry for selling all your data tour? Oh, there's no way, right? I mean, they're, they're, they're on that to the Supreme Court. Yeah. But, like, why would they ever acknowledge it to the public, you know? Hey, the only way they're going to acknowledge it is in 40 years when their CEO, who somehow managed getting, uh fucking arrested and or killed out in the streets is doing like a whole like tell our memoir like you see like economic conditions like really push just to like sell the user's data and like i'm really sorry for it i think the most grueling thing about thinking about better health other than all of the obviously grueling things is like so much like they're like the sort of person that founds a company like better help does somewhere at a core level want to believe like oh i'm helping people and they're probably using all of that money built off like the gallons and gallons of blood to afford a real therapist. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm all the way on the other side of this fucking bike trail. And and there's still more route before I get to fucking heal? Kill me. Fine, I'll go back. If you want me dead that bad. I once had a therapist who seemed quite bad at her job and at times manipulative. Looking back on it though, she told me that she used to play SSX Tricky, so I can't find room in my so I can find room in my heart to forgive her. She has good enough taste. Yeah, SSX Tricky. Um, I played that game a lot as a as a kid. Um, therapist who tried to shill me clove oil to cure autism like every session, but got me free tickets to the local friend fair. 
the fact that you saw him at all after one time of trying to shill it to you is pretty crazy. Uh, you know, I, I once uh, severed a relationship with a therapist because all she said was wow in response to everything I said. Like, that's my barometer for bad therapist. I watched Bliss use olive oil to clean, like, a marker off the back of, of her hand the other day. Yeah, yeah, you, that's a thing you can do. I don't, um... I gave her a Clorox wipe. Wait, wait, for, for, for cleaning marker off of what? Uh, like her hand. Oh, yeah. Um... I, I, I kind of feel like I'm at a good stopping point, May. It's been a solid four hours. Yeah. If you're down to, to, to end the stream here. Yeah, I just is. got into the gym and you're pretty close to it. Yeah, yeah. I just got into town. Cool. So I figure I'll start by exploring the town next time. All right. I just got to the gym. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop it here, actually. Cool. Perfect. All right. Well, this has been a lovely little stream. Pokemon, great. Let me see what else is scheduled this week. Oh, fucking P3 is back with Marcy on Friday. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys eventually. Bye. You got the music in you.